indeed is a person that uh, I hope more people will strive to be like, um, simply because at the beginning uh, he's very childish and, and childlike and has a lot of the qualities that, uh, that we all start out with. To me he's a lot like uh, Tamino in uh, The Magic Flute because he goes through all these trials and tribulations and finally at the end he starts to realize that he's not just a puppet in his own life. In order to present it on stage, I, I, I think it makes total sense to kind of be in this cartoon world simply because you have the, the whole idea is satire of, of our world and how, how it should be. So I, I really like um, having a different idea, a hyper-reality, rather than um, trying to portray reality that we see every day, because that's kind of boring a lot of times. On the Congo, you try much smaller steps. I don't think there's time to do a big foot. Uh, much better if it's just a shimmy with the legs. Okay. And put one hand on the guy or the lady in front. Okay. Something small that looks more controlled. Okay. What a day, what a day. What a day, what a day. Because it deals with some very hard subjects, I think one way that we can deal with these very hard subjects is to laugh at them. Obviously it's an operetta, so I didn't want it to become too kind of um, oppressive and depressive. Uh, it can't anyway because of the music and, and, and also uh, that, that to a certain extent does kind of reflect the original novel of Voltaire which is also very kind of bouncy and fast forward. For the orchestra we have to accept and maybe to confess that as a freedom of this music uh, we are not crossing so often in the opera. When you do for the first time with the orchestra, they have to allow themselves to enter on this field because uh, that, that's really particular in an opera has to play this music. Or at some moment you have to say to the musician, hey, jump! jump and swim because it's another water but it's not you know it's not an enemy it's not so difficult no no just to open you know to yeah to say okay enjoy Bernstein did a fantastic score, very funny at the same moment, with these two levels of comprehension. Yeah, he built the journey of Candide, and that's correct, but the same journey is with the music. Then it's very difficult to give you one answer, who is a Bernstein composer, because for me, in this piece particularly, I've got a lot of different Bernsteins. to look at ourselves as a human race and perhaps be a bit more humane with each other.